This is the undercoating that's on this car. It's everywhere. Unlike cars of Detroit from the, the same era, this stuff is very thorough and it's everywhere. It's a rubbery based stuff and then it's the, uh, the black stuff on top of it. And part of the blasting process is to scrape it off because it saves time in the blasting um, uh, time. You know, during the blasting process, it saves a lot of time. Plus, this stuff right here will break down into small little pieces and that will quickly fill my dust collector. So this is why I spend a little bit of time doing it this way. Plus, it uh, uh, allows me the time to get over every inch of the car, get familiar with it. So when I'm blasting and then subsequent metal work operations, which I will do on this car. Of course, the owner already has provided and sourced new rockers. Took a bit of rigging up to get this uh, rotisserie to fit the car. Notice how I said rotisserie to fit the car, not the car to the rotisserie. There is a difference. And it always has a benefit for the car. I had to weld on these support bracket structures right there. Kind of gives it a triangulation because these bars right here are just extensions of the trailing arms that they're mounted right here into the frame or into the unibody points where the former trailing arms were. Come out here to the rotisserie, keep the uh, ass end of the car from flopping around. This is what I have to do. Just Some cars are this way. The Camaro I did, I had to uh, put on some reinforcement brackets like that, and we're good to go. I don't want to turn it over because the uh, stuff will fall out. Here's my little Ninja 250. I rode the ZX-14 yesterday. Time for the little one.